Welcome to the 34th Annual National Philanthropy Day Awards, where we celebrate those who change the world with a giving heart. This year, we're doing things virtually. My name is Kimberly Howard, and I'm thrilled to be your host this year for the Oregon and Southwest Washington chapter of the Association of Fundraising Professionals Philanthropy Awards. Usually, we have a luncheon and we'd all be dressed up in our best business casual wear. The good news is that this year, you can wear whatever you want. And just so you know, I'm definitely not wearing sweatpants. This year, we're sharing a series of videos and each video will showcase one of this year's honorees. We hope the series inspires you and those around you to know there are people working hard to do good things, positive things and transformative things to make our communities better. In this video, you will meet the winners of the award for Outstanding Volunteer Fundraiser, Chris and Tom Nielsen. The Nielsens were nominated by both the Oregon Community Foundation and the Portland Community College Foundation. And we have representatives from both organizations to share some insights into the nomination. First, let's chat with the Oregon Community Foundation. Hello. Hi, Kimberly. Hey, why don't we start by having you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you know the Nielsens. I'm Max Williams. I'm the president and CEO of the Oregon Community Foundation. Um, and my relationship with the Nielsens um, uh, has been in my role at the Community Foundation. And uh, it's really my pleasure to be able to um, honor um, Tom and Chris today with this important award for incredible volunteerism. How have you been able to work with them at OCF? Chris served both on the Oregon Community Foundation Leadership Council for the Northern Willamette Valley and for the Portland metro area. And, and Tom has been a volunteer grant evaluator for the Oregon Community Foundation since 2004. They are tremendous volunteers and we couldn't be happier uh, to uh, acknowledge them and uh, thank them for all their hard work on behalf of communities all across Oregon. Sounds like they're making such a huge impact. They're great people. Thanks, Max. And now we're going to chat with Ann Prater from the PCC Foundation because the Nielsens have successfully led a capital campaign, PCC's first capital campaign. Hi, Ann. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, I'm glad to be here. Hi. <laughs> so how did you first meet the Nielsens? I met Chris and Tom five years ago when I was just for starting at Portland Community College. I'm the executive director of the foundation, and Chris had been the former president of the foundation. I think she and Tom um, had great heart for PCC, and it was already a, 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 in their mind to, to join our effort. Can you tell me a little bit more about the capital campaign they were involved in? Portland Community College is the largest college in Oregon. But for a million reasons, people don't think of community colleges as a place of philanthropic investment. And in our mind, it is the best philanthropic investment. But for every dollar given in higher education, one cent is given to community colleges. And yet we are where lives are changed. So I wanted to see the campaign be a megaphone to the community that think PCC first, PCC matters. If you wanna change lives, if you wanna change the community, it starts with education and community college is where those with the least can come and be successful and really get wings to fly. Thank you so much, Anne. Do you have any final words about the Nielsens? They're amazing. They are uh, deeply in love and they are with each other and also with the community they serve. And that spirit shines through in everything they do. They're kind, they're generous, they're strategic, they're innovative, they're authentic. Uh, to meet them is to love them. And everyone that knows Chris and Tom thinks that they're Chris and Tom's best friend because they genuinely care about you that much. Thank you so much, Anne, for sharing your thoughts with us today. Thank you, and congratulations, Chris and Tom, on your award. Now we finally get to meet Chris and Tom Nielsen. We have a little trophy to thank you for doing this virtually this year. This is not the actual award, which will come later, but for now, Chris and Tom, congratulations on winning Outstanding Volunteer Fundraiser.
We're so pleased to be honored by AFP as volunteer fundraisers. What a lovely surprise. And what amazing company we join. People we admire in our community. This award would not be possible without the extraordinary fundraising staff members we have worked with in organizations we care about over the years. And particularly and most recently, Portland Community College's successful $30 million campaign for opportunity. The mission of the work spoke to our heart and the PCC Foundation staff provided the professionalism needed to achieve campaign goals. We expect, especially want to share this award with the PCC Foundation staff and all the other campaign volunteers that worked so hard. And the thousands of donors that contributed to the effort that will provide greatly increased scholarship and student support for years to come. We also want to recognize the students who inspired us with their stories, determination, and commitment. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Chris and Tom, why has education, and specifically higher education, been such an important focus for you? It's, yeah, it's especially community colleges, because they are the gateway to so many people in terms of, you know, students who don't have any background of going to college and going in some kind of training or trades, as well as, on the other side, the people who have to be retrained when our economy goes through a you know rebalancing of where jobs are. So both those areas have, have been passions of ours for a long, long time. Yeah, really going back many, 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 many years when we had a manufacturing company and we're so reliant on the community college to be our partner and, and admired the job training that they did. And then that broadened out to admiring so much of what makes them such a good investment. Do you have any final thoughts for people as we adjust during this time of the coronavirus? I'm hoping what emerges from this is a renewed sense of commitment to each other and caring for each other and the people that have been identified during the early part of the pandemic as essential workers. I hope that that has created a lasting respect for what people that might have been sort of invisible do for us in our lives. So I'm hoping uh, that we all come out of it bigger and better people. Chris, Tom, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. Uh, uh, hey, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you to the Nielsen's and thank you to everyone watching. We know there's a lot going on, but it's important this year more than ever to celebrate organizations and individuals who make Oregon and Southwest Washington a special place to live. Goodbye from me and AFP.